Hey what's up guys it's Apollo Uchiha here back with the final part of what if Naruto was an angel and yeah guys I have already uploaded a new series part 1 what if Naruto a mother's love if you haven't checked that out please check that out as well if you like it please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and without further ado let's continue our story Last time we left off when Naruto and Narumi gave their mother a final chance and they became a happy family again it has been 8 months since then and during those 8 months they had gotten a lot closer and life was looking up to them in good way but not everything was smooth as Akatsuki had already taken their advance towards capturing the Junjuriki first was Gara who was found dead by team 7 at his rescue mission when they were informed but due to Lady Chiho's sacrifice he was revived and once He was interrogated. They were informed that a group named Akarski is gathering beaches, and he was the first target. They're going them number wise, meaning the next will be Yujido from Kumo and other Jinjuriks from different villages. After returning to Konoha, the Hokage called for a Hokage summit, and each and every Hokage arrived within two days. And once they arrived, every Hokage was informed of this set group and. how the cards group is gathering bijus narda was also present in that group and suddenly when the meetings were taking place he fell unconscious as both narumi and ushina and sinare who were there became afraid afraid and for it he reason sort of be retired and sinare took his place once they returned so yeah sinare is now the fifth okage Anyways, on to the story. Naruto. The three of them yelled in unison. As Kakashi arrived there, Naruto, what is wrong? I. As Naruto then woke up with a gasp, <sighs> something bad is about to happen. What? Oniki said, what is bad about to happen? Is Kurama. Kurama. Asked A, the leader of the village in the clouds. That's the name of Kyuubi. Sonata informed. I see. So you can contact Kyuubi. Spoke. Uh, a. Right, Kage. Yes. But that doesn't matter right now. Something bad is about to happen. Well, tell us, kid. Begin. Oniki. What is going to happening in this world? Well, you see, Kyuubi informed me that they were once a single entity. in my mindscape and showed me the true form what they were or supposed to be and once the sage of six path their father separated them at this everyone was shocked at the revelation that sage of six path was the one that created the bijus he he sealed the statue of that entity on the moon with his brother's help but but turns out that some human has caught in his hands on him mainly a cardski member and is planning on reviving the 10th hill beast who is a mindless beast unlike the other beasts and its sole purpose is destruction we have to stop before that happens or the world will destroy as everyone was not terrified shiver down on their spine We have to kill the Akatsuki right now before they become a threat. As they were arguing with each other, each other a person arrived with a scroll of leaves. That won't be necessary. I am Mother Uchiha, the leader of the Akatsuki. Everyone felt a lot colder shiver and down their spine. It, it can't be. You were killed off by Hashirama, began Oniki. I see, Oniki, the pen sitter. You were little at the time, if I am correct. Oniki greeted his date. Madara was in front of him, the person who was supposed to be dead. Sonade was no better. She was seen as pale as she saw a ghost from her past. It can't be. How is this possible? My grandfather killed you. <laughs> Again wrong and naive, Sonade. Your grandfather didn't have the guts to kill me. He let me live. so that i could die in shame but guess what life has another plans for me and i am back 
to get even with him. I know he's in afterlife, but I will destroy what he loves. His village, this donations, and this hatred, and build a new world upon his ashes. You're crazy! shouted Gara as his sand rushed towards him. As it straight went through him. What? He said. This this can't be. He's the masked guy. He's the masked guy that is causing havoc in Kumo. Ah, I see. You remember me? Yes, how can I forget you? You were the one that was there when Yuisto was killed. Uh, I was the one who extracted the Biji from the Jinchuriki. Damn it, I'm gonna kill you. I see. Well, you have your chance soon. That is why I'm here. As he looked towards Naruto. I was thinking of extracting your Biju as well, but turns out you are protected by so many people here. Turns out I have go I have to go with the plan B. As I thought. Anyways, I am declaring the war on elemental nations. You all have eight hours to prepare, or else you all will be perished. Toodles, with that said, Madara slash Toby vanished. And everyone was in panic. What the hell are we going to do? Madara Uchiha just declared a war, and he gave us only eight hours to prepare. It's way too short for any of us. It will take one day to reach back to our village, Oniki said. Damn it! We have a way, Naruto said. What way, Naruto? I I think I can use Harishin. What? How is this possible? I don't know. I can just feel it. Fine. If you can, then hurry. As Onigi was the first one. So, who wants to go first? Onigi, you step forward. I will. I'm old enough. If anything goes wrong, then yeah. I will die and another Kage will take my place. You all are young and a capable leader said that. I am old enough and I will make the sacrifice. Thanks, Suchikage sama. Everyone bowed in gratitude. Your sacrifice will always be remembered. As Naruto grabbed his by the shoulder and imagined the rock village, and in a yellow flash they appeared there. Everyone was on guard after seeing the yellow flash. Suchikage sama! Everyone ran towards their kage, as Kurtasuchi was in front of him. Who is this man? She narrowed her eyes. That doesn't matter. We are at war against Madara Uchiha. He declared war on elemental nations. What? A single man against all elemental nations? Is he crazy? Even if it's Madara Uchiha, he will die. No. He is going to revive the Ten Tails. What? That doesn't exist, Grandfather. You are hallucinating. It does. Said Naruto. What? It does! Okay? It does! And I am terrified after what I saw. It was a mindless beast, full of hatred, revenge. It will not stop until the whole world is destroyed. How can we trust you? As suddenly Naruto's eyes turned red slits. You trust me? A dark, gruffly voice said. Who, who are you? I am Kyubi no Kitsune. And you humans will trust me. Because I have seen the horrors of that damn beast. That damn vile thing can has enough power to level eight earths together. And you are going to face one with all of your shinobis combined with the rest of the villages. Which will not be enough. So be prepared for a lot of sacrifices if you want to win this war. If he succeeds, the whole planet will be destroyed. There will be nothing left for you. Everyone felt chills ran down their spine. Oniki then said, Thanks, QB, but I guess you just terrified them more. I have taken care of this if you haven't. Huh. You don't have guts, Oniki. If you did, then you would have told them straight forward. What are you going to do? Suchikage sama. We have to prepare for war. We want all of our shinobis to be present at Iron Country where the Kage Summit usually helps. We will all march from there. Prepare and arrive there. I will be leaving first. Okay, Naruto. Onki nodded as Naruto nodded back and grabbed him by the shoulder and both vanished in a yellow flash again. And arrived back at the Iron Country Kage Summit. So, how did it go? It went well. 
Our country has uh, Stone Country has been informed of the events. Okay, I guess I'll go next. Right, Gaga said. Okay, and same goes for the Suna when they arrived back from Kumu. And finally, Naruto and Tsunade got back to Konoha and informed each and every one of the shinobis and civilians what was about to happen. And they were downright terrified and were preparing to meet on Iron Country. As after one hour of fast traveling and one hour of rest after arriving there, they were battle ready. All of the shinobis were there from Ganon, Jorin, Chunin, Anbus, even hunters, everyone was there. And as the time passed after eight hours, in a huge field, Madara appeared. Alongside him was a ghetto statue that was glowing. And with a sudden throne of a jar inside its mouth, which everyone thought was weird, the ghetto statue started to crumble. As from beneath its stone hardened sculpture, a living being creature like thing appeared. It roared at them, sending shivers down their spines and getting into pieces in their pants. Are you kidding us? We we had to go kiss that 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 thing? How how is that possible? Sasuke was also there, and he couldn't believe what he was seeing. It it was downright terrifying. Everyone was terrified. Then. In the Kami realm, Kami, Shinigami, and Yami were also there, looking a little worried for Naruto. Back in the real world, as Minato arrived there, Kami-sama, please let me go down there. I need to help. I need to be there to help protect my son and my daughter. Please. You know, Minato, it's against our laws that we can't send you back. They are all going to die against that thing. Don't you think we knew? Said an enraged Yami. It also pains us. She said, closing her eyes tightly as tears began to flow. He's our son too, damn it. We created his soul. I don't care. I want to go down there, please. Shinigami then spoke. Fine. You have my permission. What? Both Yami and Kami yelled at her sister. What are you saying, Shinigami? Are you crazy? I don't care. I will not let the only person I care about in my life go die in front of my eyes while I sit here do nothing. As Minato looked at her with gratitude, you have my permission as well, said Yami. As Kami looked at her with a surprise, you know we are going to be a lot of we are going to be in a lot of trouble with the council when they found out. Huh, like they're gonna do anything. Shinigami said, yeah, besides, we are their leaders, they're just there to uh, give us advice, not to rule over us. Yes, you're right, sister. You have our permission, Minato Namikaze, but you will have only two days on Earth. Spend the time wisely, and before you leave, here, Shinigami threw a sword at him. This is a Zampakto, and this sword consists of a demon, a dragon demon. That will aid you in defeating the monster. Minato nodded and left. Ah, there will be a lot of paperwork to deal with. Ah, but it's worth it, right? Kami said. Yep, anything for our son. As they all smiled and looked hopefully at the screen that displayed Naruto standing against of the large group and the tail beast. And as every ninja charged towards the Karski members, as Itachi switched sides with alongside Kisame because the whole world was going to destroy and they weren't in for that. And as for uh, the rest of the Karski, they were also fighting against each other. As Itachi and Sasuke met, Itachi firstly attacked Sas uh, Sasuke firstly attacked Itachi when Itachi explained the whole scenario and have their brother's moment. Sasuke was crying and he wanted revenge on Konoha, but Sas Itachi slapped him on the face and said that was the reason he left. He wanted you to be seen as a hero, not as a villain. So you will not do such thing, brother. As Sasuke was crying, why brother, why do you still side with them? I know why you killed our clan. I know what you did to was to protect me. But still, why do you protect them? They were the one responsible for killing 
plan being killed because our clan was the one who betrayed them first and they were be going to killing spree and their target was civilians a lot of innocent civilians think of it sasuke would you be able to live with that sasuke was stunned no come here brother he tapped his forehead just like he used to in childhood this on sasuke grunted as he laughed while tears flew from his eyes no sasuke what do you say we go and finish this war and then have some dangos <laughs> you and your dangos fine only if you buy me some tomatoes as well okay let's end this quickly shall we as both nodded and turned on their half made susanos and charged towards the mast uchiha you gave uchiha disgraceful name madara or should i say obito as kakashi stopped in his tracks wide-eyed obito is that you as obito removed his mask yes it is i am who you knew once as obito now i go by toby or madara what were you the person who was responsible for our senses that i am maybe i'm not who knows you you bastard how could you do this kakashi said enraged as he charged his right career and launched his hand straight towards obito but before he could do so our silhouette of rin appeared as he stopped in his tracks no you don't get to remember her kakashi you killed her as suddenly a light formed in front of as both of them saw and went wide eyes and both of them said in your rain as she looked with sorrowful eyes at both of them when obito said with hollow voice as she looked at obito and frowned obito please stop this this is madness you're not the same person i remembered you to be this is madness. This is, isn't you, Obito. This isn't you. I am responsible for my own death. As they were speaking, the whole world was stopped. As the time stopped. Because I was forced to become the Jinchuriki of Isubu. And Kiri was going to release me in Konoha to cause mayhem. And Kakashi was protecting me. And I... I was the one who jumped in front of his attack. I was the reason why I got killed and I have no regret over it. I died as a proud shinobi of Konoha protecting my village. Please Obito, stop this. It's not too late right now. As Obito and Kagashi began to cry, with both lowering their heads as Rin's silhouette disappeared. I guess my time is up. Wait! Rin! Rin! Obito roared as Kakashi was just standing there, eyes covered by his ears. Not a single tear fell from his eyes. He was too mentally broken or exhausted from it. I forgive you, Kakashi. But the final words Kakashi heard as his tears streamed down from his eyes. Thank you, Rin. Thank you. I don't know how much of a burden was lifted from his shoulders. Kakashi said, looking up towards the sky as the battle resumed. Both Obito and Kakashi just stood there. Yes, it was all for nothing then Kakashi. Yes, Obito, I guess it isn't. But hey, we can still stop this madness, can't we? Huh. You're right, Kakashi. Maybe we can. As Obito and Kakashi then joined the alliance as well and started fighting against the remaining Akarski members and the 10 kills. Now you might ask where is Conan and Nagato? When the whole plan was done, Nagato was downright terrified and downright refused to be a part of this, this disgusting mission that he thought was of peace. And yeah, Nag Nagato was visited by Yahiko in his dream and Yahiko told him that he was disappointed in his judgment and that it was false hope that was given to him. The only way to achieve peace is through hardships and a lot of trials, as his sacrifice was one of them. And Nagato disappointed him 
in his lack of judgment. Nagato cried and asked for his forgiveness. In which return, Yahiko gave him a hug and smiled and said, You already have his forgiveness, but all you need to do is live a normal life and rule over Bain country as a better Kage. And yeah, hopefully marry Conan and have a child or so. He said with a huge grin as Nagato laughed. Still the, still the same old Yahiko. Huh. As he disappeared, Nagato woke up and Conan was there and worried. As Nagato explained the whole events in his dream to Conan, Conan was crying at first and then became shocked and then gasped and a sudden blush in her face. I, I guess we have to comply to his wishes then. What do you mean, Conan? Nagato was blushing as well. Well, you heard him. We're going to make a child and bring over the lich hidden the reins, I guess. Kagesama. Eh? You you had Yes, idiot. After Yahiko died, she said with a small sad and smile on her face. I was lost, but you were there for me. When I thought the person I loved the most was dead, but when you were there for me, I kind of developed feelings for you, Nagato. So yeah, I really love you. As both of them kissed, and yeah, moved on to Rain Village to rule over their own village. And yeah, back to the fighting, where the fighting was taking place, as Kakashi was talking with Obito, half yelling, Do you know how to stop this thing? You're the one who started it. Hey! I may have started it, but I don't know how to stop it. Great. You're still a dope, you know? And you're still the Bakashi I remember. <laughs> Stay home, Obito. Never get home. Hey, guys. I guess you're starting without me. A third voice came from behind as everyone froze when they saw Minato Namikaze arriving at the battlefield with a black sword in his hand. Hey, Naruto. This is a gift from Kami. Catch! As Naruto catched the Zanpakuto, he suddenly glowed, and from behind his back, two white wings sprouted out. As Naruto looked at himself, Wow! What the hell is this? Hey, aren't you the fourth Okage? As Minato face faulted, I'm your father! Didn't your mother tell you? Oh, yeah, she did. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of forgot. Anyways, First I have to deal with him, then I will talk later, as Naruto rushed towards him with a sword but stopped when he saw the sadness and confusion in the beast's eyes. Naruto, what are you doing? Minato said in a shout as Naruto dropped his sword, his wings still flown as he was in front of the beast's eye. I know you're scared. The beast stopped screaming as he looked at Naruto intuitively. You're scared. You're feared. You're only trying to defend yourself. As the beast roared again, but this isn't the way. You know, this is wrong. Calm down. Naruto said as he touched the forehead of, his, of the beast as the beast closed his eye. As it started to glow, and suddenly, in a puff of smoke, it was divided into eight forms, and the statue disappeared inside Naruto. Meaning, the Gato statue was also absorbed with Nar within Naruto as Naruto became the new uh, Gato statue, you can say, a living Gato statue, but with human emotions and brilliances as well, because Naruto was an angel, as the whole group of Bijus appeared. Whoa, well, that was kind of uh, bumpy, right, I must say? Begin Yuki. Yeah, yeah, right. Hey guys, how have you been? It's been a long time since we all gathered here. Yeah, except for the stupid fox that is still in sealed inside that bread. As Yuki made toward his way towards Shikako and slapped the back of his head. Oi, Baka! Look at who you're speaking to. He's an angel. Look at him closely. Nani? Shikaku roared. How is that possible? That Kaki is an angel? Mataku, Shikaku, you're still the same. Come on, grow up a little bit, little brother. As Shikaku was like, Browning, as Naruto just laughed. <laughs> that Baka Chanaki will never listen or learn. 
pursue you fox said Chicago I will get you for this one day you hear me yeah yeah Bakatanuki shut up now let us talk as everyone in the alliance had a sweat drop as they had their jaw drops as well they never knew the beaches could crack jokes and had an intelligence such as humans then the Kaga stepped forward mighty beaches we have uh, to ask you something or to offer you something what is it you want Kurama began we would like to offer you our apologies regarding our ancestors and our treatment towards you and your kind. Apology accepted, said the rest of the videos except Krama and Chicago. You have caused us a lot of pain as well. We will forgive, but we won't forget. We will only train those who are of the purest of hearts that we will choose. Not chosen by you, but chosen by us. You will be the one be granted by of our power that is our condition and yeah guess we were supposed to be deities of our own land to protect you humans but guess it worked out this way as well as suddenly in a burst of light a figure appeared floating in an air with six black orbs under him as he had a staff on his legs I see you have come to your senses my children and you too as well my people as everyone looked at him and then they saw their third red eye and two renegons the sage of six paths the kage said as everyone began to murmur and look in awe at the entity in front of them the beginner of all the one who created the ninshu the chakra chakras here hakuromo or suzuki the sage of the six paths in front of them please call me hakuromo and as for you, my children, I guess you finally came to a senses and accepted my condition. How the hell are you here, father? Aren't you... dead? <laughs> no, child. As you have guessed, I was a deity as well before you, and I have moved on to the realm of gods, where I watch over little Naruto, because he is the next heir to the chakra and your new sage of six parts. As six orbs appeared behind Naruto as well, and a staff of different kind, similar to that of Madras, with ten rings in them, appeared at Naruto's hand. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, he's also the son of Yami Kami and Shinigami. You might not want to know why, because they created a purest soul, and that soul entered Naruto's body, and hence making them Fushina, Zumakis, Minato no Mikaze, and Kami Yami, and Shinigami's child. And He's also a Shura's reincarnation, so he's somewhat of my kid as well. <laughs> as everyone now face faulted, and some of them even fainted. And some had jaw drops. And Sasuke was like, the hell? Because he's dope of a teammate who was too kind for his own good. Was freaking awesome. He had connection with Kami, Yami, Shinigami. Minato no Mikasa is the strongest Hokage in the history, as well as the Red Death and the Sage of Six Parts himself. Meaning the Bijus were under him now. I guess that is why we feel calming vibes that we felt from you, Father. Yes, that is why indeed, my child. Well, I guess it is time for me to return. And please, this time don't use my chakra and ninshu as your weapons. I granted you those so that you can connect with each other and respect each other, as leaving aside your differences. But I guess you turned it into a weapon and used it against each other. I'm highly disappointed in each and every one of you. Please do remember my teachings that I have told you. Arigato and sayonara. And with that said, the Sato Six Part disappeared. So, what do you guys think? Would you like to be uh, sealed inside humans or wanna live free? Eh, we're gonna live free and protect our lands. As each and every one of them left. And with that said, the fourth great ninja war was over and everyone returned home. And it has been eight years since then. Eight years has passed and Naruto was now the seventh Hokage after Kakashi. 
and he had a kid with Minato, whose name was Minato. In loving memory of his father, he named his son after his dead father. And Kushina was so happy and showering love all over little Minato because she kind of reminded him of her husband as well as it was kind of making up to Naruto and Narumi because she wanted to be a grandmother instead of a mother she could never become and she was doing a hell of a job for that and Sonata was also pampering him a lot because she reminded him of Don and Nawaki at the same time at the meantime Narumi kind of found love in Sasuke and married him and they also had a daughter named Sarata as for Sakura well let's just say she got stomped over by ten tails and squashed to that so for Sakura haters that is may her soul rest in hell and anyways this is where I'm going to be leaving this part off guys I hope you like this one and if you do please leave a like and subscribe to my channel anyways this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing off peace